con my friends is a chief chat. It's a me, Super Mario. Woohoo! Mamma mia! You guys, you number one. Ha-ha! <laughs> Yippee! Hi! <laughs> I'm actually so thrilled to be joining you here. I'm actually in Saint Lô in the northern part of France. I went to the American Cemetery today, uh, stayed in Bayeux last night. It's just the amazing love and respect for Americans that you see in France today. You know, of course, it's a year where there aren't uh, uh, American tourists at the American Cemetery, but every parking space is full. People from all over Europe, uh, uh, France, Belgium, of course, uh, uh, the Netherlands, everybody was there uh, just uh, uh, paying respects to the uh, amazing uh, people of, of our heritage. Awesome. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you so much, Charles, for tuning in. We started it a little different today. So I'm going to get this going so we could give you a proper introduction, although I love the Mario introduction. That was awesome. I hope we get to hear more of him as we uh, progress through this interview. So let me get this going. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone out there in Facebook land. My name is Chief Master Sergeant Lewis Reyes, and I am your Exchange's Senior Enlisted Advisor. Today, you obviously saw the guest. You have a very special guest, but you already got to see a little bit of him. But let me introduce my co-host before we get going. Julie, Leah, how are you ladies doing? Hey, doing good. Good to see you. Hi, Chief. Good to be back. Hey, so I got, I got a joke for you guys. All right, you ready? Tell me, oh, tell me how this is. Before oh. we get going, before Julie introduces our guests, this is the joke. What kind of pants does Mario wear? Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. So bad, Chief. That's terrible. <laughs> what? That's Charles Lab. He thought it was funny. Don't That's me. I, I love force. it. <laughs> He's lying. Don't put the Air Force. <laughs> I'm wearing denim, denim, denim right now. Denim, denim. He gets it. <laughs> Then hey, then Lee, then. Uh, <laughs> Julie, you mind introducing our guest? Uh, as you guys can see, our guest today is super fun. And many of you have probably heard his voice many, many times, even if you've never seen his face before. We connected with him thanks to our friends at Nintendo, where he has been the voice of Super Mario and many other characters in the Mario world for 30 years. Please help us welcome voice actor Charles Martinet. Thank you so much. You guys are number one. Here we go, number one. Here we go, number one. Ho, ho. Here we go. <laughs> Luigi's very proud of himself. He's still making his way around the mansion, and he's just thrilled because he's rescuing everybody now. So this is a very good thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Charles. real world, you know. It's it's not just Pokemon that's real or, or uh, Animal Crossing that's real. These characters are real, at least to me. <laughs> And why do you have our <laughs> Charles, thank you so much for joining us. We're super excited to have you here. And for everybody watching, drop a note in the comments. Let us know where you're watching from. And if you have any questions from Charles, we'll be reading those live throughout the broadcast. Oh, sure. Now is a good time to start your watch party to enjoy this live interview with your friends. And if you're not already following us, you should. Why? Because Chief Chats are every Tuesday and Thursday. And Sometimes other days too. That way you'll know who's coming up and who you want to check out next. Hey Charles. So, yeah. Charles, thank you so much for joining us today. Tell us a little bit. I think you told us a little bit earlier, but where are you coming to us from and how have you been spending your time during the pandemic? Well, you know, I, I, I'm in San Lo right now. This is a, a obviously a very famous place in the US military. We were at the American Cemetery earlier today in Bayeux last night, coming along, just driving along the coast of Normandy. It's just, I, you know, when you look at the American Cemetery, it's just, it, it just really it touches my heart so, so deeply. And, and the, to think of the massive effort of the whole world to end fashion, fascism in the world, to end dictatorships and to, to bring the world to, back to a sense of freedom and truth. And, and you know, I, I, it's not canny at all, but, but the liberty and justice for everybody. And we really, uh, this is, uh, it's, a, it's a marvelous country and they're just full of gratitude still to this day. And it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing to be here. Really amazing. And there's so much to see, you know, there's the tank museum, the aircraft museum. If you ever get the chance, you gotta come. You can spend a year up here yeah. and, and see everything from Omaha beach, all the beaches, 
you know, I, I, I didn't know how incredibly intricate and massive that, uh, that invasion was and what, what the, the operational, just the, the networking, the, 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 the logistics, just the most incredible action in history, I think. It's really, really amazing. So it's amazing to just come here and, and see it. It's really, really a marvelous experience. So I recommend that to absolutely everybody. It's, it's, it's great. Yeah. And so I'm, and I'm happy to be here and I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled to be with you guys. And, and you know, I, I always like to say thank you. And then honestly, thank you to every enlisted person, everybody serving their country, because you, you give me the opportunity to have the most wonderful life and the freedom to fly around the world and see people and, you know, go woohoo. And so I'm, I'm eternally <laughs> grateful for that, you know, and it's my wish for everybody, you know, gosh, you know, you, you have a big life, hopefully a long, happy, healthy life in front of you. I hope you find your joy and your happiness. It's been so great for me. I, I've always found that and when I'm doing what I'm, what makes me happy, it brings happiness to other people a little bit. So that's what I want every, for everybody is to, for you to be happy and healthy and joyful because this it, life is really such a wonderful gift. Well, you have certainly brought life and joy to, to my family and countless other families all over the world. Can you tell us a little bit about how did you get into voice acting to begin with? And how did you land this huge, iconic role? You know, I, I was going to be a lawyer and I, <laughs> I, something happened. I was in school and all of a sudden I turned very sharp, turned to the one side or the other. I don't even know which direction. But a friend of mine said, hey, come and take an acting class for me. I said, Les, there's no way I could ever be an actor. I could never stand in front of people. I'm just, I'm way too shy. I was the most shy person in my school that I had ever known. And sure enough, he managed to get me because he said, well, if you come to my class, we'll have lunch every day before class. And I said, food? Okay, I'll be there. And so sure enough, that's, that was what started me acting. And I got up to do my first monologue. I was shaking like a leaf. I thought I was going to die. I was like, <laughs> and I don't know how I even survived through the monologue. But at the end, people said, wow, you're the only person who wasn't nervous. How did you do that? And I'm like, wait a minute. I was terrified. And sure enough, I started auditioning for things. And I auditioned for the school play. And I didn't get it. And that failure was what set the light on me to become an actor. Because then I went, no, no, I really do want this. And I was just so lucky. I did the monologues next for a Berkeley Repertory Theater. They hired me and then I went to school in London and I came back to America. I did plays for many years and I did uh, uh, corporate videos when a friend of mine said, hey, you want to come and audition for a corporate video? I said, what's a corporate video? It's a video and it's corporate. Oh, what do I have to do? You have to act. <laughs> okay, I'll act. And you know, I went and I, I auditioned for this corporate video and I got it and I was suddenly doing corporate videos. And one day I did the, uh, you know, the American Gothic painting, you know, where the, uh -huh. the man is there with a the pitchfork and he's yeah. standing with his, his uh, bemused wife and they're standing in front of the barn. I did that and spent nine hours of the day doing that. And at the end of the day, the guy said, well, do you uh, do voiceover? And I said, sure. Not knowing what a voiceover was really, but he said, here, we'll read the copy. And I said, orchard supply hardware, the right item at the right price right now. And it, there you go, you get paid for that. And I suddenly said, I'm a voice actor. And just like that, I started doing voice acting and I was doing what actors do, minding my own business and reading a book on the beach, waiting for the sun to set in, in uh, San Francisco. And my pager went off, this is like 30 years ago. And I, I went to the, <laughs> to the phone, I went to pay for it. I said, hey buddy, are we having dinner tonight? The food is a theme in my life, I will tell you that much. So. You know, he goes, no, 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 you got to go crash this audition. I said, buddy, I am a professional actor. I could never crash an audition. Where should I go? And I have no idea why, but I left that beach. I got in the car. I drove downtown. I was walking in the door as the producer was walking out the door. And I said, hi, can I read for this? And he took that moment where he looked at his watch. He looked at me, looked at his watch. He went, all right, all right, come on in. We'll set the camera back up. You're an Italian plumber from Brooklyn named Mario for this game thing called Nintendo. And you just kind of be talking to people in a real time animation system with things glued to your face and you'll have a hidden camera, hidden microphone. You'll see and hear them, but they'll see the, the cartoon character, except we have no idea if it's going to work or not. So if it doesn't work, <laughs> you're still going to have to talk to people all day. I'm not going to pay you to sit around drinking coffee. So make up a voice, make up a video game, start talking. 
And whenever you run out of things to say, that's your audition. And I thought to myself, Italian plumber from Brooklyn, hey, get out of my face, I worked in here. And I thought, no, no, <laughs> don't do that. Because you'd have to do that all day, you know? And I don't want to do that and scare your kids. And what if there are kids? I thought, I know. I'll do, I had done Gremio and Taming the Shrew. Hey, nice, he had in a guy in a, in a 1947 adaptation of Taming of the Shrew. Good old Shakespeare. I thought, I'll do that, <laughs> but I'll, I'll just make him younger, except I don't know anything about video games, except wacka, 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 you know, and that's it. <laughs> I thought, well, I'll just, I know, I'll talk about food. And I'll just start, and I heard action, I went, hello, I'm a Mario. I know, let's make a pizza pie together. You go get some sausage, and get spaghetti. He puts spaghetti in the sausage in the pizza, and then I chase you the pizza. And if I catch you the pizza, you gotta eat the pizza. And I thought that would be the end of it. He didn't say cut, so I said, and then you're gonna make a pizza, and chase me with the pizza. Didn't say stop. Yeah, we're gonna make a lasagna. And then I'm gonna make a tortellini. And we're gonna make it. And I just kept making up these scenarios where I would chase him, and then he would chase me, and I, you know, I was riding up and down in lasagna pans up and down the hill. And he never didn't say stop until I heard, stop talking, cut, there's no more videotape. Thank you, we'll be in touch. And I thought that was for sure the very <laughs> end of it, but that was the beginning of 30 years of absolute joy and, and just love for this character, love for the game and love for Nintendo. They're really just, they, they've just been marvelous to me. Grateful for every day of it, really. Really, it's been great. And then. Plus, I, I think I've done now almost 115 games as Mario, from uh, Mario 64 and Mario teaches typing all the way to, uh, you know, Super Mario Odyssey. And uh, it just every everything, just one after another of just absolute joy. And then one day I walk in, there's like, and they want me to put a voice to it. So I said, and then one day they're like, why you have it on the day? Yeah, oh, you know, and they baby needs you. Hey, baby Mario, let's go. So it's just been one great gift after another. <laughs> really fun, wow. really. It's such a, such a lovely life. But that's how I started in the voice of Mario. Wow. So Charles, as you know, we have soldiers, airmen, sailors, Marines, Coasties, and military families watching from all over the world. Like most yeah. of us, they've faced a lot of adjustments and challenges during this pandemic. Yeah. Do you have any words of thanks or encouragement that you can share with all of our heroes? Well, I'll tell you, I, I thank you all so much. Every day of my life, I'm grateful for everybody in, in, in the military and everything that you do to make our lives safe and, and free. So I, I really have endless gratitude for you. And I know things are a little tough right now. And I, I guess the only thing that I know for sure is it gets better. You know, life does get better. We, we were so lucky. I was uh, doing a show in Virginia and came back uh, in, in Europe and, and um, we were watching the news coming out of China and everywhere in the world. We thought we better start canceling our trip. So we started quarantining in the first uh, first week of March. And I'm so glad we did because we're and we're still quarantining. I got the worst haircut of my life right before then. <laughs> And I've had to live with it ever since, which is why we have hats in the world. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm, trying to look, I'm not actually trying to look like a French painter. I'm trying to hide the haircut under my hat. I mean, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, and the thing is, you know, that first day when you wake up after you get a haircut and it's going quack, 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 in all different directions, it's been like that ever since. So I've had four and a half great five months of just absolute joy of waking up and being terrified of the guy looking at me in the mirror. <laughs> so I, well, Maybe I, wish I should I had get a hat with too. To everybody, but, but please, please, please be extra safe. You know, it's, it's easy to, we, we wash our hands when we come in, wash our hands when we go out. And we found that once in a while, now we're starting to go, ah, did we wash our hands when we went outside? We always have the bottle, ah, you know, so, so keep diligent and keep strong because as you're being safe, wearing that mask whenever you're in public, protecting yourself, protecting everybody around you, it's really gonna make a difference. I know in Europe, things have calmed down a lot. There is a second wave. It's a little bit as scary as it goes up and down, but they're, they're managing it pretty, pretty well. And I guess we gotta just gotta keep working together to do everything we can to, to to get our lives back to normal. I I miss, you know, I miss coming out and visiting our wonderful service people and I, I wonderful uh, Mario fans all around the world. And I want that time to come back and I, I know it will, I know it will. 
Excellent. Thank you so much for that, Charles. I know it means a lot to people. You're getting uh, so much incredible feedback in the comments section on our live feed. Thank you. People are watching from all over the world, and I think that Keith has something special planned. Oh, hey, Charles. So I have two. I have two guests. You probably you might not see them on your screen. So of course I got Megan and her son Liam. Right, Liam's with you, Megan. You want to? Uh, there we go from Annapolis, Maryland. They wanted to say hello and ask some questions. Hello. They're big fans. Hello. <laughs> Thank you so much. Super Super Liam, number one. There you are. Hi, buddy. Hello there. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I just want to say first, I am such. Such a big fan. <laughs> I love your Thank you so much. And so, my first question is Who is your favorite character you have voiced besides Mario? Oh boy, well, there's Mario, Mario, and then Mario. But I love Luigi, you know? <laughs> I was actually the second son. So I'm much more like Luigi. I'm taller than my brother. I had to run faster than my brother quite often. And I jump a little bit higher to get it to escape him. So, Luigi's my number two favorite, but my favorite is Mario because I, I love the joy, the happiness, the fun, the optimism. You know, he's just a normal guy, but he falls in love with a princess and spends his life dedicated to loving and rescuing her. I, so I love that character. And Luigi seems to be more scared, but he always finds his courage, which is a lot more like me because I can sometimes be terrified. <laughs> so I don't always find my courage, but I try. Yeah. 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 Mario, oh, yeah. I was going to say, I have one more boy who has a question for you, Charles. Oh, this sure. Is, this, Hi. Is, this is Damon. Come here. Hi, Damon. Damon. Hello there. Go ahead. Ask me anything. What's your favorite sound or saying you've done? What, when I die? Wow! <laughs> when I fall off the, the, the ledge. I love that. Wow. And I like you. also, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I always, what I do is whenever I go, wow, I just press restart and start all over again. That's the great part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, that's so awesome. Is that, a, is that a frog on your shirt? It looks like a frog on your shirt. It's a ninja turtle. It's a ninja turtle. Teenage ninja mutant turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's so great. Hey, where, gonna... where are you guys? We're in Annapolis, Maryland. Annapolis, Maryland. Oh, that's such a lovely place. I'm, th I'm so grateful to have you guys and, and so glad to meet you and so happy to see you. Well, and what's your favorite game? What's your favorite game, Damon? Mario Odyssey. Super Mario Odyssey! Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> that's one of my favorites of all time. Thank you, guys. It's so great to see you. Thank you so much. And thank you very much for playing my games. <laughs> hey, so I have, Charles, I have one more guest, uh, Brandon Cruz. He's out of uh, Tampa Air Force, uh, Tampa, McDill Air Force Base in Tampa. I apologize. But I used, to, I used to work with him. He's a senior master sergeant in the United States Air Force. Wait till you see this guy's background. He's trying to show us up. I don't know if we should have him on. But Brandon, the floor is yours. Well, hello, hello, thank, thank you. Thank oh, you. look at that, super branded, so number one. Oh, thank that's you. great. Thank you so much for, for coming on and talking to us. We, we all really appreciate it. Uh, my my son is is also very, very shy. And and so so hearing hearing that you started being, uh, you know, started your voice acting career, your career at, at being a shy kid, you know, it, yeah. it really it really speaks, I, I'm shy as well. It doesn't, doesn't look like it, but, um, but so he was going to be on video originally, but he we made a compromise, and so uh, he's here now. In the there he is. Oh, Hello. Oh, oh. Uh, Hi, Dexter. Hi, hi, I'm Dexter. Um, <laughs> so the, the, the Dexter number one. <laughs> <laughs> That's so so amazing. Uh, he 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 had a he had a question for you, uh, oh, sure. and in the in the the question uh, is, do you do you ever talk as Mario or these other voices just kind of like on your own at home uh, when you're yes. if you're at the supermarket? Where you're like, yes, I do. I talk like him all the time. I go, oh, mamma mia! And when I wake up in the morning, I'm dun, 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 here we go, and I know I'm in a good mood. <laughs> 
But if I drop the coffee, I become a little bit more wild. Oh, come on, what's going on here? Or, why did that happen to me? And the thing is, when I would tell you, I also dream as Mario. So my favorite thing is to dream as Mario and be flying because you can fly as Mario, like in Odyssey. And I go all over these, particularly over lakes and over the ocean. I love to fly and see the mountains and the moon and the sun setting and the moon rising. So yes, I, I do. I, I think and I think and, and feel and, and dream. <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah these, these people are really a part of me and such a joyful part of my life, you know. I find it such an honor and such a joy to, to do what I love to do so much and to be, you know, to, to have people receive it and be told, you know, that I have an impact on people's life. That's why I just always really wish for everybody, you could just feel how great it is to do what you love to do in life and to be recognized for it is just such a, such a beautiful, tremendous, tremendous honor for me. Well, so we, I'm very we, grateful to you and, and to your son and to everybody who, who loves the Mario games like I do. <laughs> from, our, from us to you, thank you so much for, for talking to us. Thank you. And thank you for playing my games. <laughs> I'm sure Brandon will have another question later. But um, oh, sure. hey, we, got, we got something in the comments here, Charles. Frank Staropoli asks that you give a shout out to his son, Giuseppe. Super Giuseppe, it's a me, Mario. Woohoo! Mamma mia! Super Giuseppe, number one. <laughs> hey, there you go, Frank. You heard it right here. And David Castro asks, "What country do you find has the most rabid Mario Brothers fans?" Oh boy, that's a great question. Do you know everywhere in the world? And I've been to at least fifty countries doing Mario things. And everywhere in the world, the reception I get is so beautiful. Everybody loves them. I will tell you, though, when I was in Australia, there were five guys who came up and said, we want you to sign our foreheads. And I said, what? He said, sign our foreheads. Just put your autograph on the foreheads. And I said, I can't do that. Oh, here, give me the pen. And I did. I signed their foreheads. Oh, my gosh. So they were certainly the most over the top I've ever seen. And I've signed people's tattoos and they come back and the next time I see them, they've got my autograph on a tattoo of Mario. <laughs> so, oh. There's certainly people who absolutely take it to another level. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, Charles, so you're also known for your ability to do a variety of accents. What, what do you feel are the hardest ones for you? For me, South African, you know, it's so African when it's very, very hard to do because it's part Dutch and part English and part German. It's a really hard one to do. Australian is a lot of fun, you know what I mean? You know? <laughs> like the Australian so you do the Cockney accent every once in a while. Up the apples in Pears, be they visit the troubling strife. You know, it, that's that's a lot of fun, you know. And, uh, what about course, English? You know, I like to do things from the south in America. British, today, so British. That's a lot of fun. British, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. British, oh, yes. I had a marvelous cup of tea today. You should have seen it. it <laughs> splendid, you know. It's so fun. The, the, the thing is, I get to play for a living, and that's that's just such that it's like you're kidding me. I would never have thought, you know. But and so that is the thing. I think that's how smart, a lot wiser people than me have said. If you find what you love to do, it's never work. It's all play, and I think that's it's the truth. Whether it's engineering or driving a pickup truck or a a, a, a garbage truck or a you know sewing or knitting or what. Whatever, whatever brings you joy and makes you feel like, oh, that's fun. I certainly can't wait to wake up tomorrow and do it again. You know, then, then you, you, you've won. You, you won the lottery. <laughs> so speaking of fun, a lot of people turn to video games to have fun. Are you a big gamer yourself? And I know you can only give your perspective and not like a corporate perspective, but what are some of your favorite games? You know, I, I, I actually am a gamer. I'm, I'm just good enough to find out the princess is not in this castle. <laughs> <laughs> but I've never quite actually rescued. I've watched my, my nieces and their boyfriends. They have managed to marvelously win the games. And I've watched that many times. It's, it's wow. so hard when Bowser gets really giant and the flame is coming out of his mouth. Yeah. That's a really hard game. It's really hard. I, I, I can jump, you know, they'll tweet, 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 you know, and that, you know, that is another thing about, you know, the, the pandemic. People staying home have really embraced video games and what, playing a lot of video games because it just brings so much happiness and so much joy. And I blank playing Super Mario Odyssey and I've been trying to get better at Luigi's Mansion, but I'm not very good. And of course, <laughs> Animal Crossing is huge and, and uh, 
you know, the uh, King Origami King is going to be uh, a lot of fun for people. What it, whatever brings you joy, because I think that's the thing about this pandemic. It can make you pretty, uh, the anxiety is always there. There's a little bit of worry there for your grandmother, for your dad and mom. You know, my mom's 92 and she'll be 93 in September. Wow. And I just always find myself just a little worried about her. But, you know, when you play a game, you can just be distracted and just be involved in that the total joy and the total fun of that. So I'm always grateful for any moments like that. I My favorite game right now is still Super Mario Odyssey, and it has been for a couple of years because I just, I just, I, I, it's a kind of a sandbox game. You don't have to be brilliant to play it, but you can go around and have fun, which is my kind of game. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. And I love any Mario Kart, of course. Any Mario Kart's a lot of fun. Yes, that is fun. I love that one. <laughs> yeah, it's just so great. They just time it. I think it's one of the things I love so much about it is you play the very first Mario game ever made and the most recent Mario game that's made, and you really recognize the thread there, that the character, the joy, the fun, the, the music, the sound. It's it's just all just so masterfully done. I, I just love it. I just want to keep doing it for the next 30 years at least. <laughs> awesome. Charles, you've talked about how you got started, but do you have any advice or any tips for anyone who's interested in voice acting? You know, there's a, there's actually a website by D. Bradley Baker, and it's called, oddly enough, I want to be a voice actor.com. And it's I want to be a voice actor.com. And he's got years of material in there that really give people an, an idea of not only the how to create a character, but how to do the business of voice acting. Because I can tell you, from my perspective, all acting, voice acting is just like any acting. A film actor only has to just think something or feel something. And because their heads are like 60 feet up in the air and 30 feet wide, you, you, you feel everything and you, you, you know what they're, you know that what's going on behind their eyes. But you know, cartoon acting is very giant. The energy got to come right out of the floor and hey, yippee, or it's got to be big, you know? So you just, uh, but one of the greatest things I can think of as a lesson of acting for me is it's like you're a dog chasing a ball on the beach, you know? And it's probably, I imagine it's a little bit like training too. When you've done your training, you don't think anymore. Things become automatic. And when you're the dog chasing the ball on the beach, you're not thinking, I wonder if I'm doing it right or if I, if I should emphasize the product more like, and then buy this product or then buy this product or buy this product, you know? You're not thinking there, you're just playing. You're just being in that moment. And it's kind of like life for me. Every moment is so precious that when you're in the audition, you're not trying to get more. You're just having the most fun you can at that moment. So that's my, my audition advice. And then my job advice is the same. Just keep playing, you know, like uh, voiceover is really, it's, it's energy and air and joy. And the more joy you can put into that energy or the energy of joy that you can put into the air, the, I think the more fun it is for people. So that's my advice. <laughs> but I'm not, I don't think I'm a great actor. I just think I'm pretty good at having fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey Charles, a uh, um, lot of great questions, a lot of good feedback here from the fans. Charles asks, do you have any Mario tattoos? I don't have any tattoos at all. You know, I just, I, it's just never, uh, I, it's, I, I, no, I have a no. shirt. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's a follow-up question from Ezekiel. He asks, how much do you, how much do you work with Shigeru Miyamoto and what is it like to work with him? And how does he feel about how you've embraced his creation? Oh, that's a lovely question. Uh, uh, you're number one too, you know. Number one too, like me. Oh. Um, you know, I do not actually work with Mr. Miyamoto uh, directly because I work with the creative teams in the, the United States, the, the, the treehouse people, or with, the, with people up, you know, in, in Vancouver, or other places like Next Level Games. So, but I have seen, I see him every year at E3 and uh, visited him in Japan. He took me to the most wonderful restaurant I've ever been into uh, to in my life. Uh, and uh, it, was, it was just such a marvelous experience. He's such a wonderful man. And talk about somebody who's brought so much joy and happiness and fun to so many people. And he's as humble and just very normal person that's just, oh, I'm so glad you like the game, you know? So I'm, 
I'm always my he touches my heart so much and he's you know I always know that he enjoys what he goes very nice he says very good very good and I know that uh, warms my heart because uh, getting his uh, seal of approval is like a woohoo kind of moment for me <laughs> that's awesome Charles hey Megan you got any questions on you go ahead ask me anything um, I don't want to ask anything but my favorite Mario game is I would absolutely say Mario Kart 8 I love that Mario game. Kart 8 <laughs> oh yeah who, yeah who do you like to drive as I usually play as Inking girl or Link? Uh -huh. Fantastic. Or Link. I know Link is right. Zelda games are also pretty amazing, aren't oh, they? Oh, Zelda. I like Zelda. <laughs> yeah. Split Zelda yeah. for Halloween. Oh, fantastic. Link for oh. Halloween. Link, sorry. Link for Halloween. <laughs> Link for Halloween. Oh, that's so great. Yes, yes, I knew it was Link. That, that's fantastic. Have you ever gone, do you have a, like a, you, with your brother, like one is Mario and one is Luigi? No, we have never done anything like that. I oh. guarantee you get very good candy that way. <laughs> that's <what I> <laughs> Thank you. No taste. That's my real. That's my real hint for the day. Now it's not being inaccurate. It's how to get great candy. So is mine, Luigi. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> awesome. Hey, Brandon, what you got? All right. Good. Good. Good news. Good news. My little shy guy. Ah, Mario reference. Uh, oh, Hello, Super Dexter, number one. How are you, my friend? How are you? Good. I Good. like your shirt. We have a lot in common. He's talking. <laughs> That's a great shirt. Thanks. I like that. I like the color coordination too. This is like my this is like my original first Mario shirt, and I always love to wear it. Yeah. What's your favorite game? Um. Actually, I don't know because I have lots of games. <laughs> yeah, lots of games. What one are you currently playing? Yeah. Are you currently playing like a Mario Kart or a, a Odyssey um, or? Yeah, uh, we're playing the Paper Mario. Paper Mario. What do you think of that one? I haven't played it yet, so I, I'm hoping it's like a really good one. It is. Yay! No, we we play, you know, we play it together. Yeah. Oh, that's so great! I think that's one of the greatest <laughs> things. Is, you know, you can play with your papa, your mama, your grandma, mama, me, your grandma, papa. You play the whole family. I, that's one of my favorite things about the Mario games. Really, it's it's really so terrific. I love I love that game. And who's your favorite character? Um, you have a favorite? Probably like um, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. I love Donkey Kong. I actually did Donkey Kong for a while in a real time what? Mario outfit. I did Mario. I did Wario, and I did Donkey Kong. He's like, oh, 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 oh yeah, oh. You know, and that was, that was really fun. And then they said, okay, that's enough of that. We're going to take it away. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun while I was doing it. Doing, doing a live Donkey Kong was exhausting, though. It takes a lot of energy to be a monkey. <laughs> that's what I learned from that experience. <laughs> Go ahead, Julie. It's after you have another question? Go ahead, ask me. Go ahead. Um, are there any voices people are surprised you do? Yes, you know, I did. I did a voice. Uh, uh, I, I've done about uh, uh, oh gosh, over two hundred video games, and one I did was uh, 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 for Skyrim. I did Parthenax, and he's like, "What brings you to the throat of the world?" And he's a very you know <laughs> wow. big dinosaur kind of guy, and people are like, "Whoa!" It's so different from Mario, you know, that people are a little bit surprised sometimes. So I I love to say, you know, you know, it's a me, you know, and then. What brings you to the throat of the world? You know, which is a, which is a lot of fun. I also do. Uh, there was another game too, and I got this. My brain is a little slow, but I played myself in a video game. Uh, 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 and uh, oh, come on! I, I'll think of it in a minute. But I also remember <laughs> Ratchet and Clank. I was I was uh, the the keeper of time. You know, rule number one: have fun. That, that was fun. Every every mm -hmm. game I've ever done has been totally fun. You know, people can say, you know, come in the door and say, bonk your head and, and go, ow, 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 ow. And I'll go, like, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, I can't wait because I love, <laughs> I love boys, 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 so much, you know. <laughs> is there um, is there a dream role that you would love, something you would just love to do but haven't had a chance to do yet? I, I've already got it. You know, I really absolutely do. I, I'm just so lucky. I, I, I'm <laughs> so fortunate, so blessed. I, 
I got to do my favorite character in the whole wide world. And then to do it for so many years, for, for decades now, it's just been an absolute dream come true. Really, really, truly. And then the gift of doing the, the, the brothers and the other people in the, in the games. It's just been such a, it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. I have gratitude, massive gratitude every single day. Yeah. And in fact, I can't really have enough gratitude because I, I, it's just been such a wonderful gift for so long. <laughs> But I do also well, admire a lot of voice actors. There are a lot of guys out there that are working and women working like Tara Burr, uh, you know, Tara Strong is just an amazing voiceover actress. And there's some great actors out there. Absolutely good stuff. Charles, has the pandemic changed your work any at all? Any current projects you're working on that you can share? Well, you know, it, it has. I, I used to do a lot of Comic Cons and it was such a wonderful thing and going, going on meeting troops. We were doing that almost every single year in, in Germany or in uh, uh, Japan, uh, Okinawa. That was just so much fun at, at the different uh, uh, places. And um, so that's been curtailed, the, the human contact. And let me tell you, I miss people. I miss just being able to say, hello there, you know, and and high five and shake hands and, you know, pose for pictures together. It's a, it's, I miss that a lot. And comic cons too, we used to do a lot of comic cons, but we're still, we're finding ways to work. You know, I, I have a, a microphone and I record, I put the, uh, I put pillows around it, put the bed sheet over my head and I'm under the cover production company. <laughs> 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 microphones are so great today you know you just like you just stick them in there and like hello and they're live <laughs> and it's fantastic and you can record in a in a cupboard and they're so much directional somebody can be uh, screaming and running down the hall and all you hear is the voice that's right in front of it so that's really that's really amazing yeah wow. So, hey, everyone, before we wrap this up, I'm going to pass the mic around to Megan and Brandy here in a second. But here's my next joke. What's Mario's favorite musical? Wow. <laughs> Mamma Mia. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma Mia. Oh, come on, guys. Come. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, man. Charles, you're oh. too nice. No, Chief. No, that was no, great. No, no more jokes. <laughs> I thought that was <laughs> funny. So I, have, I, have, I have a joke too, but it's 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 a it's a different joke. How do you get Pikachu onto a bus? You you Pokemon. Oh, <laughs> good one. See? Didn't see that one coming. That's good, Charles. I like that one. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Before we you get off, so Megan. Great. It's such a pleasure talking with you. Megan, oh, I'm gonna too. give Megan and Brandon some last words, but stick around, Charles, after we go off okay. live. I gotta ask you something. Megan, go ahead, floor is yours real quick before we go. Thank you again so much. This little man has been losing his mind. He was running to the other room to tell his brother that you did Ratchet and Clank in Skyrim. <laughs> you such have. a big fan. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for coming on and doing this. Oh, it's such a pleasure. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you for being families that care about our country so much. Really, from the bottom of my heart, I thank your whole family. Because it's, it, you know, all of the families of all of the service members, you guys, it's your love and your support that, that make our world as great and wonderful and getting better and better as it is. So thank you. Thank you for being families that love and care. Hey, Brandon, Brandon, oh, go ahead, Liam, or Brandon, go ahead. Yeah, uh, De Dexter, as you can see, has has disappeared again, uh, much <laughs> much like I do uh, when I get in front of folks. Um, but uh, we, we just want to say on behalf of me, Dexter, my wife, Chelsea, uh, we thank you so much. Your joy is infectious that we've been watching this, this entire time. And, and uh, you know, you, you're... Uh, your deference uh, to the military is extremely appreciated uh, coming coming from us, and uh, so it just means a lot that you came on to, to to chat with us and and bring such joy into our lives with with uh, it's a me, a Mario, and all those all the, all the, all the wonderful voices. You're, you're great. Thank you so much. I, well, I look so forward to coming back and seeing you again because it is such a pleasure, and I hope I meet you in person. I hope I get back to to, to meeting people in the military every year all the time i just i love you guys and thank you so much 
<laughs> hey, Charles, so it's been so much fun having you with us today. Thank you for spending time with us and sharing your talents. Of course, big shout out to Nintendo for making this happen. They're great partners thank with you. the exchange. So thank you so much to Nintendo. But thank you to you, Charles. This means so much to our airmen, soldiers, sailors, Marines, Coasties, and of course, all the family members out there. We wish you all the best as you continue your career. Exchange out. Thank you. Bless you. Bye. Bye.